Soundgarden with Pretty Noose. This goes out for, uh, dude, I forgot your name. It was Carl something. But anyways, I'm sure you guys will appreciate, appreciate Soundgarden, one of the bands that impacted me in the 90s. Chris Cornell and Gang. Cornell. The song's awesome. Great singer. Good songwriter. Great band. Drop C for the tuning. A little bit of wah in the beginning here. <clears throat> and let's jump in. What did you say? can't see my foot here because it's a one-man operation and you know all that stuff but um think of a gas pedal you know and it's pushed down well I have it all the way back and then psh, a little bit up to get that nasally sound because it's not like he's going you know it's not like Hendrix style on that so you're gonna start with the open D did I, did I tell you it's drop C tune okay well now I did drop C um, open D twice, but you can, if you want, you can kind of get ready for the next part, a unison bend release. 3B, 5G, back that 5G with your middle finger here, and go. So you're bending it a whole step, which is what? How many frets? Two. You reach that whole step point, release it back down. And then go 5, 4, D. And then 3A twice, hammer on to the 5th fret. Remember hammer, it means you're slamming it down. So pick, pick, slam. So we have... Open E, 2G. And then do the bend release part again. And then go. Be careful when you do the bend release that... Um, here in those two notes, right? So after the bend release, we go 4, 5, D. And then 3, B. There's another unison bend. They're normally not played over in this open position. It sounds cool. I mean, it could have been... But they went here. Bend the 3, B a whole step, but hit the open E string with it. If you need to, you can use a couple fingers, because we have to fight the resistance. Sounds like something Rage Against the Machine would say, Fight against the resistance! Okay, the nut here. The closer you get to that, whether you have a lock system or not, you got to fight the resistance and the tension that's going to come from this. So that's why I'm saying if you use two fingers, you got the strength of both, but you don't have to. I mean, try it with one. It's good uh, finger workout anyways. But, um, you know, if that's not jiving with you and you can't quite get that whole step, just drop two fingers in there. And that's just a... A bend, there's no release in that, so. Okay, and then basically we're going to start that over. If we have the pie cut into four pieces, that's the first piece. That's a quarter of it. And then go open E, 2G again. Now that's going to kind of stay 
for the most part consistent how they do it. Back to the bend release. It's like the first one we did. The one we just did. But the second time of the bend release on this second piece of the pie here, you're gonna go which is four, five, five on the D string, bend a whole step. Definitely would make sense to utilize your index to help support this guy on the bend. Okay, so that's the second one. So let's play both those. back and do the first two that we did. So the first, third, and fourth are basically the same. You know, on the first one we did two open Ds though. The others are going open D, or open string six, open string four. So you would just, you're gonna do both those, which would be, oops, or not open, six open, two on the third string, all right? Six meaning string number six, three meaning string number three. So, and then on this third one, if you want to, you know, keep it consistent with Soundgarden here, there's a, there is a pull off in there, so you can go right there. Not a huge deal though, you know, they, I guarantee you they changed that up. But um, you, to do the pull off, you got to set two fingers down naturally, you know, and pick the higher one and snap it to ring the fourth fret. And don't be shy with it and timid, just... Alright, so... Okay, and then we do it again, without the pull-off. Now, something happened here on the end of the fourth one on the bend. Obviously, it's a two-guitar player thing, but you can hear him... Uh, toggle the switch like and then boom the song will kick in at that point you don't want the walla pedal there. but here's that part so let's break that down um, five, 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 or no, seven, 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 barred on the top three, and then grab the nine G. So seven, 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 nine. And, um, you're going to go down, up, down, up, down. It's got like a Kurt Cobain type strum feel to it. Down, up, down, up, down. Move that up a half step to eight, 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 ten. So, and then go 10, 10, 10, 12, down, up, down, up, down. So you have... that there's fret hand muting just relieve the pressure softly put pressure on the strings and just go just muting string mutes you can actually do it in transitioning to the next chord watch because we got to get ready for three 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 barred and then five and then add the six B in there I can hear that higher note um, we're going to cop that same feel down up down up down and then move it all up a half step four 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 six seven and then move it a half step again to five 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 seven eight so our form is the same here you know up here there's this uh, possibility of adding the pinky too I'm not hearing it though so um down up down up down change down up down so down up down up down tch, tch. that's fret hand muting this is already in position that bar is going to work to your advantage um but i like dropping more fingers so we don't accidentally get like harmonic notes in there natural harmonics so if we drop this down just Keep in mind, you may not be able to see me doing it, but I'm relieving the pressure. Okay. So, um, we have... Same concept, we can down up the, the string mutes as we transition to open, 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 two, three. 
and we're going to go down, up, down, up, down. Um, up to one, 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 three, four. So, right, down, up, down, up, down, down. And then to copy that same beat, but move this a whole step, three, 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 five, six. And we're gonna, it's really the same beat concept, down, up, down, up, down, up a half step with all of it down, which would be four, 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 six, seven, so. So. Then go five, 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 seven, eight, down, up, down, up. Now, like I said, there's two guitar players. I want to kind of mix the two here. Um, so down, up, down, up. Grab the three B and hit the open high E and bend a whole step. Okay, so. And then go. Bend it again and go to 2G. So. He might even be holding it. I think he is. Alright. Now that takes you through that whole verse part. Um, you would start it over again. So. Um, two times through. Um, another thing I want to point out, and I don't think I did that in the, did this in the intro, but when you're playing the, uh, keep that little choppy in there for all of these until we get to this D. Um, so da 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 Same concept over here. Da 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 Like my muting. And then when you get here, it's more open. Instead of going, you can hear it ringing. Um, then um, you go back, start it again. Until um, you get to the five, 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 seven, eight. We go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, with fret hand muting it on the down, up. And then, five, 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 seven. You're just gonna hit those, move it up a half step, another half step, up to ten, ten, twelve, and back to nine, 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 eleven. So, then seven, 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 nine, ten. Go down. Up down with a down up fret hand mute. Memorize that beat because you're going to use it again here. Three 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 five six. We're going to go to uh, five 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 seven eight. Same thing again. So we have. Ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would probably down from those. Not a huge deal, but. Um, and then the last part. Three, 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 five. Eight times. Same thing on eight, 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 ten. And then same thing on eleven, 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 thirteen. So eight, eight, eight. So there you go. We're going to wrap this up. But before we do, make sure you take your time. Make sure you subgroup so these parts will come together the right way. Uh, memorizing is half the battle. The other part is the uh, mechanics of it and making sure you're making everything clear. But uh, if it's not memorized, um, it's putting the cart before the horse. So uh, approach it that way. Subgroup in little pieces. Make sure everything's clear. All right. Uh, my email, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. 
If you're interested in private guitar, bass, or vocal lessons, I don't teach vocals, I can sing, but um, I don't know how to teach vocals, it's difficult. My wife handles that. Um, for a price breakdown, you can email me or check my website, rockinguitarlessons.com, or check my channel here. I have lots of tutorials about those, um, and I'll be putting more up with uh, Christmas approaching in 2015 here. So um, they're 30 and 60 minute lessons, same day, same time, each week or bi-weekly. We work on any and everything. Most of my students want to fine-tune songs, which I think is a great idea because it's really how I learned. You're working on something that inspires you, and you're going to pick up the techniques um, that you would learn if you were going through a theory book and all that anyway. So it's just really a good approach. And we we fine-tune, put the microscope on your playing, and make sure everything's right. Sometimes it's the littlest things that we need to fix to make everything sound right, okay? And then also CVT and CT lessons, custom video tablature um, and custom tablature. You may know what it is you want to do, which are typically, typically songs. Not always, but uh, usually they are. Um, I transcribe by ear. I don't use anybody else's anything and um, get these for you the way the bands are playing them. They're very detailed, so if that's something that interests you, um, you can check my website or my channel here. Basically, it's uh, all handwritten tabs with everything explained, you know, fingerings and uh, timestamps, um, subgroups, all that good stuff. So you can match it up with the song, um, pick directions, all the techniques are explained, <coughs> tunings, EQ, guesstimations, and the primary effects, blah, blah, blah. That is the video portion that gets uploaded to the channel, and then the tabs are hand that I... No, I have that backwards. I just explained the tab part. Now, that would be just a CT lesson. And um, CVT is the same thing. You get the tab scanned and sent to your email, but it has the video. I'm totally mixing it backwards. CVT is video tabs. CT is tabs. Why was that so hard? Man, why? It's been a rough week, man. But it's good to be here. Make sure you subscribe, share, keep your requests coming. Remember, we're doing 90s through now. And um, I got, I'm got i getting bombarded, man, with tons of requests. Keep them coming. Who knows? Yours may be next. Soundgarden, great band. All right. Bye, you guys.